guys, I've got something exceptionally exciting to show you today. This arrived to me from the Airbrush Company. And as you can see, it's an Iwata High Performance Plus Airbrush. Specifically the HPC Plus, because it's got a, the, the size C cup on it. And let's open this up. Let you see. Now you have your paperwork with it. I want to show you, first of all, Iwata gave this brush with a five-year UK warranty. Now that's pretty darn good in itself. But this brush is such exceptional quality at airbrushes.com that when you buy the brush, an Iwata brush from them, double that to a ten-year warranty. Now if you think about that, that says something quite exceptional. That says that as a company, as a retailer, they are so confident in the quality of these brushes that they choose to offer that because they know they're not going to have many people coming back. It's quite simple. That's, that's the answer. It's, you know, they're trusting these brushes to that degree. That says something exceptionally special. That if you look after your brush, it will continue to look after you. So, wow. Now if you think that's shiny, just wait till you see what's inside. But this is an exceptionally good solid case which keeps your airbrush firmly and securely safe for you to use so that you know you're going back to it in the condition you left it in every time. Let's have a peek at this, because this is very special as well. That your brush, when it arrives to you, like this brush when it arrived to me, before it's even left the factory, has been checked and tested and made sure that it works exceptionally every time. See? They know it works when it leaves the factory perfectly. And now you do too because that's from your airbrush. That's your individual spray pattern from your airbrush. And look at the clarity of those fine lines. And they are fine. And the diffusion pattern from the, the spray at its, its opposite extreme. So you know you'll get those quality blends. That's quite something. They've actually taken the time to check every single brush as it leaves the factory. That's special. And isn't she special? Now there's a very good reason I'm filming this way around. So you're not blinded by my reflection because it is that shiny. I think you, you can quite clearly see the quality of the chrome work on this. Which is, yes it's pretty, but it also makes sure that your brush is protected. It's quite something. And let's take her out of her bed. And there's her cap. Now I'm quite sure that if you've had an airbrush before, you'll have experienced one of a few issues. Now either the cap doesn't go on securely, and that when you're moving the brush the cap comes off and you end up with paint everywhere. Not with this. But it's also very easy to remove as well. That is perfectly engineered to the perfect fit so that you don't have any of those issues. That's precision. And that precision persists throughout this piece. Even down into the, the engineering of the, the cup. The cup is angled very specifically so that you use every single drop of paint every time because even the hole at the front of where the, the needle goes through from the cup is angled so that every drop comes through your nozzle and onto your piece. That's precision every step of the way. Now I know you want to see a breakdown and I'm going to be doing that but I think first of all it's more important to show you what she does because once I've shown you what this baby's capable of 
I will show you the reasons why she's capable of that in the breakdown because this is a quality piece through and through. So we'll get on and we'll show you that quality in action. Hi guys, we'll get in and show you this. Be aware that air uh, the air compressor may well kick in at different points. But uh, this is just a wee idea just to let you see that this is a brush which is capable of beautiful, fine, extreme detail. Now I'm managing to do this and I never ever considered myself someone who was artistically talented. I was moved out of art classes at school because I wasn't very good. But in this hobby I found new tricks and new tools which make it possible for me to find a way to be artistic. So it's all about finding the right tools for what you need. So certainly this is quite clearly capable of some extremely fine detail as you can see. So pop back in a second. Right, get back and show you some of the, the finer diffusion that's available as well with this brush. I will be doing some of this on kits, in fact quite a bit over the next few weeks and months. Um, but just to let you see what it's capable nice and clearly I thought a nice bit of white paper would be an idea. So as you can see we're getting through a nice softer thicker line and as I increase the amount of paint that's able to go through and pull back away from it you'll see that we can start creating very smooth surfaces with a more even finish to them. So it's definitely an extremely versatile brush with an awful lot of capabilities. Now it's all fair and well sitting doing this with black but I'm going to pop back in a second, I'm going to clean the brush out and pop back in a second and show you some blends that you can achieve using some colours to show you how you can use this brush to achieve a nice grade through things. Hi right, guys, let's see if we can demonstrate on the paper uh, one of the things that we, we tend to buy the airbrush for which is seamless blends. So let's see if we can get something started here. just laying down a fine layer of orange. Now I want to take it darker at the bottom because this is where I'd want my solid colour. I'm just lifting it slightly as I go further up the paper. Now I'm just going to tip out what's left of this orange because I'm going to be using a complementary shade. I'm not going to worry too heavily about cleaning the brush at this point, just catch that drip, there we go. And I'm going to take and put some red in the brush. There we go, and I'm going to start at the other side of the paper now. And you'll see where the orange fades out quite nicely into the red. And if you start interlacing your red onto your orange gently, you'll start getting your blend showing. And there we go, and I think you can see we've got a reasonable blend here, where you've got a nice transition through from your orange through to your red. Starting one side to the other, so you've got that sort of general grading between, and you've got the, the line between them being pretty much non-existent with that smooth intercision with each other. So hopefully that gives you a rough idea of what you can do with this, showing the possibilities of this brush from extreme fine detail to wide blending and large coverage of big areas such as buildings or terrain. So it certainly has very many possibilities. You know, it's fine enough detail that you could be working quite happily on your small miniatures, um, whether it be a sword or whether it be uh, facial shading. So certainly well, over the next few weeks and months we'll get in and get showing you some varying different things, but hopefully that gives you an idea for the moment. 
and the next video you'll be seeing is me doing a breakdown of this so you can see what goes on under the hood of the airbrush to let you see what makes it tick and what allows you to get this variability and balance between detail and beautiful blends. Hope that helps guys. See you later.